Hello friends, welcome to Knowledge Bytes. Friends, there will be a series of videos on the surgical instruments and this is the first video and here I am going to discuss about the parts of the surgical instrument. And the surgical instrument which is you can see here is forceps. Why S is written here? Because it is a paired structure. This instrument is handheld, it is a hinged instrument and it is used for grasping and holding the object okay now I want to discuss the part you can see this part is known as tip this is the tip of the forceps this part is the blade or jaw blade or jaw it is the working end of the instrument this part is known as joint you can see the two blades are joined here and they can freely move it is known as joint or box lock this part this part is known as shank or shaft this part this part is known as finger bows finger pose it is also a paired structure it is used to grasp this forcep and it controls the jaw movement by the fingers this part this part is known as ratchet or it is also known as catch it is used for interlocking the part of instruments I want to discuss more about this ratchet or catch you can see the parts of catch this is the first part of the catch this is the second part of the catch and this is the third part of the catch the first part of the catch is used for catching the tissue the first part of the catch is used for catching the tissue the second part of the catch is used for clamping the tissue and the third part of the catch is used for crushing the tissue the first part is used for catching the tissue the second part is used for clamping the tissue and the third part is used for crushing the tissue when this catch or ratchet are pressed the blades are held in closed position now I want to discuss about the serrations of the surgical instrument you can see three different types of serrations are there the first serration which I want to discuss this one this type of serration is known as transverse serration transverse serrations transverse serrations are seen in artery forceps the second type of serrations is the this type of serration you can see this type of serration is known as longitudinal serrations longitudinal serration longitudinal serrations are seen in intestinal clamps seen in intestinal clamps the third type of serrations this is the third type of serrations you can see this is known as cross ha hatched serrations cross hatched serrations cross hatched serrations so i have discussed about the part and the types of serration of the surgical instrument this is the first video of the surgical instruments